Let's go to Patrick. Patrick is next up on PTL. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Brian. Uh, as far as Dick Cheney goes, man, I, I couldn't be happier that he's no longer associated with and has nothing to do with the Republican Party. The guy was a fascist. He was one of the worst people in American history. He did take us to uh, Iraq and WMDs, which we all know is a farce. Did you vote? Halliburton, did you course, vote? Which he benefited did from you vote? Who greatly. did you did you vote for that ticket? I, unfortunately, and I, I regret every bit of okay, it. Man. I, I okay, so we can standing up for okay. George Bush, defending George Bush. Okay, so you did, and I guarantee and you, Bush. and I guarantee you, in ten years, you'll be saying the exact same thing about Donald Trump, the guy you support. But with that being said, uh, I understand that's how you feel about Dick Cheney, and you're entitled to your opinion. But she still, he still is endorsing Kamala Harris, and I, and don't make no mistake about it. While it might not make a difference to people like you, staunch Donald Trump supporters, it will still make a difference, Patrick. But doesn't it show that, that that she is the uniparty, she is the establishment, she is the warmongering machine that has taken over much of our government, and that's why people love that. But here's the thing: now being seen for Patrick, all the world to see that. Hey, okay, but, but Dick Patrick, Cheney is now on y'all side. Patrick, I mean, Patrick, here's my issue with what you're saying. The guys, Patrick, nobody likes Dick Cheney. Nobody Patrick, likes Liz Cheney. Okay, Patrick, she here's my like issue with what. Patrick, here's my issue. Huge. Patrick, here's my issue with what you're saying. I guarantee you, a year ago, you would not have said this about Dick Cheney. You would not have been saying this oh, about. I've been saying it. I've been no, saying it for you many haven't, years. Patrick. I've been saying it for many years. Bottom down for a moment. Are you kidding me? Bottom down, Patrick. You have been calling into my show for years. The only time you've ever brought up Liz Cheney or Dick Cheney, and said anything negative about either of them was after Liz Cheney came out and voted to impeach Donald Trump and she was part of the January 6th commission. Before then, you would never called into the show saying one negative thing about Liz Cheney or Dick Cheney. So you can claim that you don't like the Cheneys. That's fine. I'm pointing out for the record, you have never, ever said anything negative. And make no mistake about it. The only reason why Liz Cheney lost her run for office again was because she did the right thing. So we can move on now, but I just want to make that clear to all the listeners. You're speaking negatively about Liz Cheney because she's supporting Kamala Harris. If she kept her mouth shut and she voted along party lines, you wouldn't be criticizing her at all and she would still be in power. Patrick, I want to be very clear hey, on that. Hey, I'm very excited that the Republicans have, have, the American people have taken back the Republican Party. We're getting rid of the Mitt Romneys, the Adam Kissingers, the Cheneys, the Bushes. All of those people and you are can no keep, longer a part of this Okay, so I agree. Party. You can, you, you can take them. Back y'all's party? You can take them why and you've you taken the, the Lauren, Democrat you've party? taken the Marjorie Taylor Greens and the Lauren Boberts and the Jim Jordans. Wow, you got a group of, and the Matt Gaetzes. You got a group of wonderful Gates, people. Yeah. yeah, very, you like Matt Gates, sure. Uh, Shocker. RFK, RFK Jr. Oh, there's a really yeah, credible guy. Yeah, you got, you got Democrat a bunch of. family that's come over to uh -huh. the Republican Party. And, yeah. Yeah, he, he takes very it credible. So he's done big environmental cleanup. Hey, he has, RFK has a great track record. How do really? you feel about Monsanto? Why don't you we ask, Monsanto? hold on, let's talk about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for a second. You just said he has a great track record. I'm just wondering what you're referring to because the guy couldn't get 5% of the vote. This is a man who's cheated on every woman he's ever had, including his ex-wife who committed suicide after reading about all the women that he had been with. You want to ask his wife and, and, and people in his family, some of the people in his family, about his track record of being a human being, a guy that beheads whales, a guy that stages murders with bears, a guy that spreads medical misinformation on a daily basis, <laughs> and you want to talk about this guy's record? You care about somebody's record, right, Patrick? Would you care about the guy that you're supporting who's a 34 count felon who has a criminal record a guy that's had 25 talking women no nope, these are not points. these are not nope. talking points you call it talking points because you can't defend it you just said you care about somebody's record what about somebody's police record i'm just curious patrick do you care about that I say the same thing every day man I, and you defend I, it every single day it's because serious. it's Im because it's important to make it clear you said you care about somebody's record that matters to MAGA Patrick. And my question to you is, when you say record, does that include somebody's police record? Or does that not matter to you? Environmental cleanups. He's Patrick, not, does somebody's... Great, Patrick, I'm not going to talk about RFK Jr. anymore because it's irrelevant. I'm moving on now. You said you care about somebody's record. Do you care about somebody's police record? Yes or no? 
Tell me about Dick Cheney's record. Huh? Uh, we're not talking about, about Dick him? Cheney because he's not running for office. We are now talk. I, I, I mentioned Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney, and you did because they're endorsing Harris. Dick Cheney's not running for office. The man who you support, Donald J. Trump, is the leader of the Republican Party. You said you care about record. Yeah. My question to you is, do you care about somebody's police record? I don't care. I don't, I'm voting for the outlaw. I am happy to vote for the felon okay, of 34 so, count so you felon. Only, so, so, Patrick, you only care about somebody whose record if it benefits you. For example, if somebody comes forward and supports somebody you don't like, then all of a sudden you care about their record. But if somebody has a police record, in this case a 34 count felon, doesn't matter to you. At least you're very consistent, Patrick, on your bias. I appreciate it. Because that. it's called political prosecution. Nobody cares. Right. About so if it's a Republican, it's political prosecution, right? So Hunter Biden, was that political prosecution? Or when they investigated Hillary Clinton eight times when during Benghazi, the Republicans investigated her eight times. I'm curious. Those exactly. investig hold on, Patrick. I'm asking you a question because when it comes to Donald Trump, it's all political prosecution. The 34 count felon the liable sexual abuser, all the other indictments and all the other cases that he's going to have to go through. That's all political prosecution, right? The DOJ, it's rigged. The judges, it's rigged. The jurors, it's rigged. It's all political prosecution. Would you say the same thing about Hunter Biden, Patrick? The, the union, union, union party has been exposed. As far as Hunter Biden goes, yeah, the 51 intelligence agencies that came out. That it was so that's not political prosecution. That was so when Hunter Biden was found guilty, was, was that political prosecution? Hunter, I'm asking you a question. I need you to focus. We're just talking about Hunter Biden now, a subject that I'm sure you talk about all the time. When Hunter Biden was convicted on felonies, would you say that was political prosecution as well? Yes or no? Do you think you think his dad's going to pardon him? Okay, I didn't ask you about a pardon. I'm asking you to answer the question. I need you to focus because I'm going to ask it again. By the way, Joe Biden just said he's not going to pardon him. When Hunter Biden was convicted of felonies recently, would you call that political prosecution as well? Because anything that Donald Trump has held to account, you seem to call that political prosecution. I need you to focus. When it goes the other direction, would you say Hunter Biden's case found guilty is also political prosecution, yes or no? Compared to that, the crimes that he actually committed. He committed a lot more crimes than just Is it away political prosecution, yes or no? I'm not interested in litigating the case with you. Just answer the question. When it comes to Donald Trump, you they said They should have prosecuted him for his real crimes, and they should have done it back in so it's not political. So it's not political prosecution. So when it comes to Donald Trump, who's a 34-count felon, proven in a court of law with a jury of his peers, it's political prosecution. When it comes to Hunter Biden, they should have gotten him for even stronger crimes. Patrick, how can I have a conversation with you when you're so biased one way or the other? Guess what? I respect the jury's decision in the Hunter Biden case, just as I respect the jury's decision in the case that involved 34 felony counts. And I'm able to say that with a straight face. Doesn't mean we always have to agree with every outcome, but the bottom line is, you care about somebody's record. This conversation started where you were talking about somebody's record. I think you were talking about the Cheneys. But yet, Liz. when it, yeah, right, exactly, Liz. But yet when it comes to a police record and a 34-count felon proven in a court of law, not only do you not want to bring that up, but you're actually going to vote for that guy. You have no problem with a 34-count felon being the leader of the free world. Explain that to me. I'm voting for the outlaw, and I'm proud to proud to do so because our system is totally corrupt and they're exposing themselves by going after trump and protecting joe biden over the last many of years okay let me be very act. clear so, on yeah, that i know i know you've it. said it's over and over again clear. i know you've said over and over again that you're voting for an outlaw okay an outlaw isn't necessarily somebody that sexually abuses women let me ask you a question about that outlaw statement that you mentioned patrick let's forget about the 34 felonies for a moment okay would you define someone as an outlaw who sexually abuses a woman in a dressing room? Would you consider somebody an outlaw who has 25 women that have accused him of sexual assault or rape, including his ex-wife in a deposition? Would you consider somebody an outlaw who lies about the 2020 election and is the main reason why January 6th happened, where people died that day and the days and months after? Patrick, would you is that your definition of an outlaw, someone who sexually abuses women? Nobody believes DG 
Jean Carroll. She doesn't. Uh, actually, she actually, a jury believed E. Jean Carroll. A jury of Donald Trump's peers, not a bunch of MAGA buffoons that were on the jury like you. A jury of Donald Trump's peers believed that Donald Trump was liable for sexually abusing E. Jean Carroll in a dressing room in a court of law, and the judge called it rape. So when you say people don't believe it, what you really mean is MAGA dopes who drink the Kool-Aid, who wear the Donald Trump knee pads 24-7, who buy his Bibles and think he's Cheeto Jesus. Don't believe it, Patrick. Are you one of those people, Patrick? People don't. Are you Again, one? E. Jean Carroll doesn't know what E. Jean Carroll doesn't know what year it took place. And she e. Jean know. Carroll doesn't know what year it took place. So uh, there were dozens of women that were raped by Bill Cosby. Many of those women don't even remember the day, the time, or even the month or the year. Just because you don't remember exactly when it happened doesn't mean it didn't happen. And guess what? Your opinion is irrelevant because a jury already made the decision in a court of law. See, you only believe in our courts when it's a Democrat that is prosecuted. But when it's a Republican that's prosecuted, in this case, your Cheeto Jesus leader, it's all rigged, right? The elections are rigged. The courts are rigged. The judges are rigged. The juries are rigged. Ratings are rigged. Everything is rigged if it doesn't go your orange man's way. But if it's a liberal or a Democrat that is prosecuted, you won't hear anybody in office, any prominent Democrats say it was rigged. Why is it only people like you on the right that say it's rigged? Can you please explain that to me? Carol doesn't even know if she was penetrated by fingers. There you or go. Penis there you go. Guy. Well, the reason why she doesn't know what it was is because John, Donald Trump's genitalia is so small. Maybe that's why, my friend. Have a nice day. I'm sure with, when you're with your wife. I'm sure she doesn't know what you're doing down there either. Have a nice day, Patrick. You want to go after somebody? Go ahead. You want to go after somebody that was sexually abused? You go ahead and do that. Well, she doesn't know whether it was her fingers or something else. Well, that's probably Donald Trump's fault, isn't it? But that's par for the course for you MAGA morons out there. You want to attack a woman who was sexually abused. Keep in mind, at the beginning of that conversation, Patrick said he cared about somebody's record. But when it comes to Donald Trump, he doesn't care about sexual abuse. He doesn't care about 34 felony counts. He doesn't care about the deficit, 8.2 trillion, by the way. He doesn't care about what took place on January 6th, and he doesn't care about our democracy. But if we're talking about other things, all of a sudden he cares about somebody's record, in this case, Liz Cheney, because she happened to support Kamala Harris yesterday. But Liz Cheney's not a convicted felon. Liz Cheney is not an attack on our democracy. And Liz Cheney hasn't been accused of sexual assault by anybody. Thank you for the call, Patrick. Always enjoyable to destroy you as usual. I think you'll probably get nightmares over the weekend on whether Donald Trump is pen penetrating you with his fingers or something else. 7283 is the number to call.